This is Bishop Barron. You know, just a few days ago, I was in Indianapolis for the marvelous celebration of the Eucharistic Congress. 50,000 Catholics coming together to worship the Lord and celebrate the real presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. So I come from that experience and I come home and, you know, I love the Olympics. So I turn on the opening ceremonies of the Olympics. What do I see now? And it's in Paris, France, a city I love. I spent three years as a doctoral student there. What do I see but this gross mockery of the Last Supper? And I won't describe it any further. Just go online. It's, it's gone viral. You can see it. But this France felt evidently, as it's trying to put its best cultural foot forward, the right thing to do is to mock this very central moment in Christianity where Jesus, at his Last Supper, gives his body and blood in anticipation of the cross. And so it's presented, though, as this gross sort of flippant mockery. Uh, France, which used to be called the eldest daughter of the church, Paris that gave us um, Thomas Aquinas taught there, and Vincent de Paul was there, King Louis IX, St. Louis, France that sent Catholic missionaries all over the world. France whose culture, and I mean the honoring of, of the individual and of, of human rights and of, of freedom, is grounded very much in Christianity, felt the right thing to do was to mock uh, the Christian faith. You know, a question I would pose, we all know the answer to it. Um, would they ever have dared mock Islam in a similar way? Would they ever have dreamed of, of mocking in this, in this gross, you know, public way a scene from the, from the Quran? As I say, we, we all know the answer to that. I think, folks, what's interesting here is th this deeply secularist um, postmodern society knows who its enemy is. They're, they're naming it. And we should believe them. They're, they're telling us who they are. We should believe them. But furthermore, we Christians, we Catholics, should not be sheepish. We should resist. We should make our voices heard.